ankle restraint. Did it have any metal parts? Yes. Of course there are metal parts, okay? To hold you in place, cause you can't be trusted. You can't be trusted, so we gotta wrap metal around your legs. This is what your life has come to. You did a good job today. I mean, you had him, you had him on the ropes. You did, you had him, you was like, pow, 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 pow. He was like, whoa, whoa. Is that how you remember it too? Make sure y'all hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this here thing that I got on the screen right here. Should Daryl get a freedom sandwich or no? <laughs> hey y'all, it's your girl J9 Eve. And you know, Daryl, you know, our precious, precious, most, most precious Daryl, of course, is having a temper tantrum. Per use, per use, of course. <laughs> What else would he do? Because the fate is the same for the Daryl, okay? But Daryl's talking about his shackles, y'all. He's, he's, you know, questioning the bailiff about this here shock shackle device. And who told him that it was a shock shackle device? I mean, I say he made it up, but you know, because Daryl be lying. But Daryl's going to question this man. And he's got, he's got some good questions. Come on now. Daryl has some good questions. You know, it is, it is his right as a sovereign citizen of these here United States. He wants he wants all the rights, okay? The sovereign and constitutional ones, all of them. All of them. I'm gonna need all them rights about you, right, Daryl? High five. So let's hear what he got to say. Let's see how this here interview goes. He's gonna be questioning this man, you know, doing his lawyer, his lawyer thug thizzle. Let's see how it goes. He's going to come on right. up to the witness stand. I'm going to swear right him in and um, we'll go from there. From the, for the record, may I respectfully object to your ruling, Your Honor? Uh-huh. You no, can. Sure. All right. Uh, Madam Clerk. Sure. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> for the record, may I respectfully request a legal reconsideration right, of Mr. your Brooks, ruling, Your Honor? I have to okay. mute you because yeah, I need sure. to keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Have this go ahead. Raise your right hand. Yeah, put your hand up. Uh-huh. Sure. All right, thank you, sir. Have a seat. I'll let you put your name on the record so I don't get that wrong. And so go ahead. Please state and spell your first and last names. First name, Nicholas, N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. Last name, Kibler, K-I-B-L-E-R. Hello, Mr. Kibler. All right, thank you. And you are employed in what capacity with the Sheriff's Department? I'm a deputy for the Washington County Sheriff's Department. Okay, deputy. All right, sir, were you assigned to the trial of Daryl Brooks? I was. And can you tell us in what capacity? Yeah. Uh, my capacity was specifically, my responsibility was Daryl Brooks, along with Deputy Stanielson. Mm -hmm. Were you in court uh, mm -hmm. at the start of the trial on October 3rd? I was. Yes. And did you come into court or work the court trial every day that we were in session? I did. Mm -hmm. And can you, uh, were you at all in charge of the restraints let me ask you this way. Do you have knowledge of the restraints that were utilized on Mr. Brooks throughout I do. this trial? Can you describe those, please? Um, it's a soft restraint that we used. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was not any type of electronic control device. It was just a soft restraint that we applied to Mr. Brooks prior to coming into court every day. And would that be a restraint system that was on his legs or something else? It was around his ankles. Throughout the trial, the tables in this courtroom had black table skirts. Do you remember seeing those? I do. And did that hide from view in any way the use of the restraints from the jury? It did. And were the restraints also attached to the table in some fashion? They were stretched, uh, attached to the, to the table by a tether. Dang, Daryl, you were stuck to the table. <laughs> they chained you up like an animal, Daryl. It ain't right. It ain't right. Right, Daryl? Did I get it? Did I nail it? I feel like I nailed it. At any point in time, were there any other restraints utilized in the courtroom? There was not. How about the shocky type? At any point type? in time, were there any type of electronic or stun device placed on Mr. Brooks? There was not. No? No shockers? Why, why you ain't putting no shock shackles on this man, sir? Okay? I'm gonna need for you to do your job. Your job is to shock the shit out of Daryl. That was, that was your job. I guess they didn't tell you, but now you know. <laughs> Anything you want cute. to add to the record <laughs> regarding the restraints that were used in this case? Uh, not at this time. Do you have any questions? Hmm. Sir, you indicated that the restraints were connected to the table through a tether. Is that correct? Correct. And then we would secure them with a, like a padlock. And how long was restraint. that tether? The tether that was in here was four feet. So Mr. Brooks could stand up? Correct. He could walk to his left briefly and walk to his right? Is he, that correct? That's correct. 
And that was the same rule that the state had that we had to stand up and use our table to question witnesses. That was the same rule that applied to Mr. Brooks. Correct. Okay. Nothing further. Mr. Brooks, you're muted. Do you have any questions regarding the restraint system as testified to by yes. Deputy Kimberly? Yes, I, yes, I do. In your Hey, Daryl, so you were able to move four feet? What is you complaining about? You were able to move the same length of distance that you are tall, four feet. That's your whole wingspan. You know what I'm saying? Four feet. That's that's his wingspan, you know, because that's his height, four feet. You get it? You get it? Yeah, I got it. Your Honor, you can't practice law from the bench. Um, your question, sir? Yeah, what's your question? Uh, so none of your none of your de fellow deputies told me that it was a shock device when i asked what was being placed on my ankles at the start of this trial no not that i'm aware of not that you're aware of did you do you know for sure that i was that i was told that they were a shock device i don't believe that's the truth i believe every time you had those devices put on i was in there and it was either myself or deputy stenielson putting them on and i did not tell you that nor did i ever hear deputy stenielson tell you that they were an electronic device Mm -hmm. So you were here every single day, yep. every single moment of the trial. Yep. Correct. Look at Daryl. Daryl trying to, he trying to pick some holes in this man's story. <laughs> oh, Daryl, this is terrible. Don't nobody believe nothing you say. It's what happens when you, when you're untrustworthy, honey. This is what happens when you lie so damn much. This is what happens. <laughs> so you saying you was here every day and every moment that I was here in my shackles. Like, yes. He's like, shit. Daryl, I would say nice try, but I'd be lying now, wouldn't I? And you never heard any deputy tell me that they were... As a matter of fact, let me back up. Yeah, back you up. You recall me asking what was being placed on my ankles. That I don't. If you did, we would have told you it was a, just an ankle restraint. Look at that. You don't remember me asking what these things were? You know, even though it was a stupid-ass question I was asking, you don't remember that? <laughs> You don't remember when y'all put these things on my ankles, you know, because I'm terrible and I'm a prisoner and I can't be trusted. You remember when y'all put these on me? You don't remember me asking you what these are, you know? I mean, I think you would remember because it's such a stupid ass question. It seemed like you would remember that. And you said that it Come was on, an ankle restraint. Did it have any metal parts? Yes. And what are those metal parts? Oh, metal God. part is where a strap went through and the locking device. And what are those? Uh... Look at Daryl's face. Like, he's really like, really? <laughs> what? What's, was there metal parts? No, nah, the thing was made of like pixie dust, Daryl. Of course there are metal parts, okay? To hold you in place, all right? Because you can't be trusted. Like I say, we just right back around to that same fact. You can't be trusted, so we got to wrap metal around your legs. This is what you, this is what your life has come to. Let's say if... A uh -huh. defendant in a trial attempts to, mm -hmm. let's say, attack someone. What would those? What would be the purpose of those ankle restraints? Oh my God! Now let's say the defendant, the defendant, whomever he is, were to try to, I don't know, maybe attack someone. <laughs> Daryl, Daryl, you telling on yourself? You're telling on yourself again, Daryl. Okay, like you, you're like explaining to us why we needed to put the shackles on you. But actually, in all honesty, Daryl, you wasn't going to attack nobody because you know what we see, how tiny you fucking are. Okay, you wouldn't last two seconds trying to attack anybody outside of some small girl that you found who happened to be smaller than you, which is even a hard thing to happen for even a girl. Okay, because you so little. That's why, because you so little. <laughs> the restraints we had on you would limit your movement. So if you did try to do anything, we would have had enough time to mm -hmm. control you. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy and to control there, ain't that, it? Well, the, uh, the prosecutors stated that mm -hmm. the same rules were in effect for the defendant as the prosecution. But were they not allowed to put up exhibits to go to the, uh, to go to the front of the courtroom and put up exhibits? They might have a few times. But the record will reflect it was one time in the presence of the jury. And after that, I called them on it and said that would not happen. And then after that, it was only with the permission of the court and then outside the presence of the jury. There you go. I don't, I don't believe that, Your Honor, you can practice law from the bench and answer the question that was asked to the... Mr. Brooks, I'm in charge of the record, not you. And Ooh, the record's going I, to I be accurate. I didn't say, well, it's not accurate. You're practicing law from the bench. All right, Mr. Brooks, do you have any other questions for this? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Can I have a freedom sandwich? Of course, that's going to be no. You need freedom to have a freedom sandwich, Daryl. You got to have the freedom 
to get the freedom sandwich, okay? You get a prizzy on sausage. That's what you get. That's your food. That is your dinner. Breakfast and lunch, you know, maybe brunch, you know, if you're feeling really, you know, just bougie as hell. Daryl, you feeling bougie? You feeling bougie enough for a prizzy on sausage brunch or no? Yes, right, I do. It has to be about started. the restraint system. Please okay, continue. And was was I allowed to pro approach the bench and put up exhibits at any time during this trial? You were not. Daryl, you didn't have any exhibits, okay? <laughs> what exhibits would you have had? I mean, the closest thing to an exhibit for Daryl would have been the car. <laughs> what, like your hoodie? That didn't belong to you anymore. You left it in the playhouse, remember? The one you were hiding in? Hilarious. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Daryl hiding in the playhouse. Hilarious. I think he always wanted one as a child, but he never got one, of course. You know, closest thing Daryl got to a playhouse was his mother's car, which then turned into his house, which is just not the same as a playhouse. <laughs> Am I right, Daryl? I feel like I'm right. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. And so how is it that the prosecution was able to do something that I was not able to do? That's not for me to answer. I can answer that for you, Daryl, because of freedom. <laughs> Why do they get to move around? And I can't. Why they ain't shackled? And I am. Cause freedom. Okay? Cause freedom and cause asshole and cause douche. Okay? Cause you's a douche, you's a asshole, and that's why you is shackled to the table. Yeah, Sonny Bars. <laughs> It's because of the shock device that was put on my ankles. Correct? Yeah, yeah, because of the shock. Uh, there was shackles. no shock device on your ankle, sir. I was told that it was. Okay. And you said that you don't recall hearing that being told to me, correct? No, I, it was not told to you by me. Yeah, by you, but you also said. Uh huh. That's the that's the point that I'm getting at. I'm I'm, I'm asking the question. You said that it wasn't told to me by you. I've never asked you, correct? You never asked me, but I also did not ever hear Deputy Stanielson tell you that they I, were a shock. I device. never asked you. I never asked you. Yes or no? No, you did not. So uh oh, uh oh, Daryl. Uh oh, Daryl. Look, look, you got him cornered. <laughs> Daryl, you got him. <gasps> what? Smoking gun? Smoking gun? Oh, that's right. I think you already got found guilty, didn't you? Did you? Did you or did you not? No, maybe. I think so. Yeah, I think you already got found guilty. So this is like a weird thing to talk about. Oh, Daryl, you thought you won something there, didn't you? He like, see, Judge, now you got to let me go. Sorry, boo. <laughs> if only, if only, Daryl. So do you know for sure if I ever asked any other day? Well, considering I was in there when the restraints were being placed on you, mm -hmm. I did not ever hear anybody while I was inside the bullpen while they were putting restraints on you. So, so it would be fair to say that you don't know for sure if I ever asked what the device was that was being placed on my ankle. No, I can't be for sure. Like, you being, who cares if you asked? I mean, I'm still on the team of I hope somebody told you that shit because it's hilarious. <laughs> I hope that they told you. With everything in my being, I hope that you said, are these shock shackles? And then they said, yes, they are. So just keep that in mind. You know, I hope that that's what happened. Okay. I hope they even did a wink when they did it. I hope they went, because funny. So how do you know I didn't ask? You don't have to answer that. Yeah, because you're asking the same question, Daryl. That's why you, they're like, he, he just said that, he just said that. Exactly. All right, the records were made, Mr. Brooks. Argumentative as hell. Okay. I'm cutting off the questioning. The, I'm just muting him for a moment. The record's been made. To, uh, Deputy, you may step down. Um, Mr. Brooks, if you have additional information that you want to provide to the mm -hmm. court, I'd ask that you do so in writing and you provide the identity of any and all individuals you claim um, provided you with information that you were in a shock restraint. Exactly. Uh, but I'll make a finding based upon the testimony of uh, Deputy Kibler and also my knowledge of being in the courtroom every day um, and uh, mm -hmm. seeing Mr. Brooks being uh, attached, meaning they would secure him to the table. Yeah, no, you said it right, Judge. He was attached to the table. You got it right. <laughs> he was attached to the table, okay? Daryl and the table were one. They were made to be one, you know? This is as close to a committed relationship as Daryl's ever been in, okay? So yes, you were right. Don't correct yourself, girl. Don't correct yourself. Table, they would unsecure him when he needed to move and other things. I'll make a finding that the soft restraint system was what Daryl, what's that look on your face? What's this look? Don't be like that. It's it's like all the color that left your face. Where all where's all the life at? It's like it's like all the life just just left. Like like 
like the hairs that used to sit in that spot in the two spots you know in the back in the bat wings you know <laughs> daryl's got bat wings honey this thing is pointy as hell today what's going on with this where does point come from this used to be very round where does point come from daryl's giving off dracula vibes right now okay what was utilized in that no the time count. was he ever in a shock type of device nah all right, with that then, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to conclude uh, the hearing today. We have the sentencing uh, dates. I would also ask that any and all written material that either side wants this court to consider mm -hmm. also be filed by the 11th by noon. So that's November 11th at noon. That will give this court ample time to review it ahead of the hearing on Tuesday, um, November 15th. All right, thank you everyone. Uh, we are in recess. The court's going to take a short break before I start with my remaining afternoon calendar. Oh, damn. Daryl, she about to go eat a freedom sandwich in her office. That's, she's so rude. She ain't offer you nothing or nothing. Damn. Daryl, can you believe it? That's messed up, right? She's just going she just gonna go over there and eat her freedom sandwich. Daryl, let me talk to you for a second real quick before I, before I go. Hey, hey Daryl, you did a good job today. I mean, you had him you had him on the ropes. You did. You had him. He was like, pow, 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 pow. He was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that how you remember it too? Daryl, you in these headphones, honey. It's you in these headphones for me. You need to do better. You just need to do better in your life, you know? You know, when you get back to your cell. You know, just take your phone and, and, and call your mother. You, oh, wait, you ain't got no phone in there? Oh, damn. Mm. That's freedom for you. All right, y'all. Y'all behave, okay? Don't be a girl, okay? Don't get shackled to a table. Don't spend your last free days, well, kind of, sort of free days, not inside your cell days. How about that? Don't spend your last days before you're ever in a cell, okay? Being a girl. Otherwise, you're going to end up in the cell. If you don't be a girl. You get to stay free. And guess what you get when you stay free? You get freedom sandwiches. I'm sorry. Freedom sandwiches. You get freedom sandwiches. Okay? If you do like Daryl, you get a prison sausage. And that's all you get. Okay? That's all you get. All right? Mama love you. Yes, you do. Ooh. Peace.